And now for a quick look at some of the stories from the world of arts and culture. Stay tuned for our News Roundup Shortcuts. Ignoring the Do Not Touch sign, a visitor and his wife were caught on surveillance cameras as they bring down a modern sculptural clock at the National Watch and Clock Museum in Columbia, United States. The man will not face criminal charges. Following the release of new character portraits for the upcoming West End show, fans can now see what Draco Malfoy and his son Scorpius will look like. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, a two-part play based on an original story by J.K. Rowling, will debut in London on July 30th. After more than a month from his death, Prince joins the long list of stars that have died from drug overdoses. A Minnesota medical examiner announced on Thursday that fentanyl, a synthetic opioid painkiller, was the main cause for the pop star's premature death. Speaking to media in Berlin, German archaeologist Hermann Parzinger has claimed that Syrian regime troops have been conducting illegal excavations in the ancient city of Palmyra. After being under Daesh control until March, the UNESCO World Heritage Site is now under threat again. Björk's unique stage costumes will go under the hammer for the first time in the upcoming weeks at London's Kerry Taylor auctions. The bell dress designed by Alexander McQueen that the Icelandic singer wore in 2004 is expected to fetch up to $20,000. The fourth annual Turkish Film Festival continues in South Africa. Showcasing everything from dark comedies to musical dramas, the festival has visited Pretoria, Cape Town and Durban. The event's final stop is Johannesburg on June 11th. <laughs>